let's understand data type quickly. So we have, what is data? So data is numbers, information, right? It can be, it can be uh, in numbers, it can be in text, it, information, right? The, in any form it can be. Now, when you are proceeding further, when you're doing a lane Six Sigma project or any sort of analysis or any, any business, you have to take decision based on the data, correct? You cannot take decision based on the guessing or based on the experience. So when you're taking decision based on data, you need to understand what is the data, what type of data you have. Why you have to understand? Because based on the data type, you have a different set of tests. I repeat, based on the data type, you have a different set of tests. It's like before we do a treatment, doctor will check whether the person has BP problem or not, he has a sugar problem or not. Correct? They do a random, they ask this question, isn't it? Because of BP, there will be different treatment, sugar person, there will be different treatment. Can you relate it? Right? So there's a different structure of the body. If person has some other previous diseases, there will be some other treatment. Similarly, here we have to look at data and figure out what kind of data is this? Because every data has a different treatment. Simple. Now let's understand the types of data. I'll make it very easy for you. So there are two types of data. One is called continuous and second is called discrete. So continuous data, okay? So any data which we can break down further, globally accepted and has some unit of measurement. Like I have shown you this, right? Checking the temperature, then this oximeter. So that is called your continuous data. Wherein discrete data is any data which we cannot break down further. Simple, as simple as that. Now, in discrete, so uh, you're able to relate the exam, uh, you know, these two things. One, we can break it further, globally accepted, has some unit. Discrete means which we cannot break it further. Now, continuous example will be, how do you measure this? Temperature. Then we talk about weight, length, water, which means volume. Time is another continuous measurement, which is very important. And you will come across this data many times, okay? Like people experience, age, cycle time, turnaround, everywhere it's a time, 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 isn't it? So you have to understand time is another continuous. Okay, now let's talk about discrete data. Discrete is any data which we cannot break down further. There are two types of discrete data. One can be uh, count, second can be categorical. So what is count? Count is like total number of people in this session. How yes. many people can travel uh, flight? In the flight, let's say domestic, 150, right? How many defects are there in, um, in, in one car? Let's say 120 defects in one car. Defective, so you can say count of defective. So all this will be in the count. Number of complaints, all this is defective. All this is, sorry, count. Comes under discrete, okay? Hope you're able to relate, okay? This is under discrete. Continuous uh, doesn't have any subcategory. Now, second is categorical. So categorical can be, I can further divide it. Like uh, we can have binary, we can have ordinal, we can have nominal, we can have attributable. But largely we call it as discrete data. Hmm. What is category uh, binary? Any data which has, uh, which will have only two options. Yes, no male, female, sort of. Mm. Ordinal, any data, you're able to relate it, right? Any data which of some order, okay? Some order in the sense, uh, some order or ranking. Suppose customer satisfaction rating, appraisal rating, more example you can figure out. Nominal is any data or any categorical data. I should better write here categorical. Huh? So any categorical data 
which does not follow any order it can be uh, subjective or you can say name or place etc uh, suppose basu i can see only him on the main screen now so i will write here basu dharun okay or it can be place name like bangalore it can be a manager something in that sort anything okay does not follow any order attributable is any data which shows attribute or quality of data suppose okay he is his black is white is tall is short is intelligent is amazing is beautiful she is beautiful something like that okay attributable data so you can divide largely data in you know uh, in these sub categories like so data is continuous or discrete and continuous is simple discrete has further count and categories